Mm. Oh, hi. I didn't see you come in. Um, so uh, I'll just uh, close it and get, get rid of this. Here, Patrick, why don't you come over here? And we, don't, we don't need that anymore. Oh, oh, Jesus, <laughs> careful. My, my God. It's a lead acid battery. You don't want that. Uh... Yeah, okay, anyway, so um, so the, 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 the what you call it, the Mac Pro just came out, and um, we, we thought, uh, well, why not celebrate that in a way that no one else really has? Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have a little special something. I, I went into the archives and dug out some stuff, and we're just gonna uh, show it to you and maybe do something kind of cool and special with it. So um, I guess Brian, should we should we get started? Yeah, sure. let's get the ball rolling. Our, our director Brian Barnett, I think. Um, <clears throat> so Patrick, why don't you come? Uh, we'll get the box. You got this shot up right. here, Brian. Well, let's let's fir let's first just kind of drag it out and see. So okay. let's let's get this guy up here. Actually, go ahead. It's quite a few boxes you have there. Over here. Oh, we got the, 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 the there we go. All right, so we got we got here an Apple Macintosh 2CX. This is a Pro computer, it pretty much in line with the Mac Pro. It actually might be a little better than the Mac Pro because it's bigger. Um, so we'll let's let's open it up and uh, maybe see what's in it. All right. So we do we have a shot over here? Is this is that shot going to work? The this overhead one. There we go. Yeah, I might need to uh, adjust that. Or that that could work. Okay, so let's see. Well, oh look at that. Wow, it's got stuff in it. Well, let's let's go see what. What we got here, so uh, we shrink got the um, too. Well, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all shrink wrapped. If you can see, um, I certainly didn't re-shrink wrap that myself afterwards. No, that would no. just be silly. So this is the open me first. Got some stuff in here. Uh, let's see what's in here. I think we got. Uh, oh, good, we got the, we got the uh, the packing list uh, of the Macintosh 2CX. So this package contains the following items. Uh, one Macintosh 2CX personal computer, I believe that's in here somewhere. Uh, one Apple desktop bus mouse, one power cord, one programmer switch. I think we got uh, we got right here. Um, Wait, what does this programming switch do? That that uh, that allows you to press the uh, the interrupt and the reset buttons uh, that are in the in the computer. It's just a like they're inside oh, on the motherboard, right. so okay, that you clip, the, you clip that on the side and yeah, it now uh, I remember does the this. thing. Okay. So uh, so we got that SCSI cable terminator. I don't think we got that, but shh, it's okay. Uh, the number one book. Uh, it's the open first to set up your Macintosh includes three booklets: your guide to documentation, setting up your Macintosh 2CX, Macintosh 2CX special options and technical information, one disc Macintosh basics, and one project registration card. It, it's so retro that it mentions that it itself is in the. Box. Yes, it, it's, <laughs> that, that's how retro it is. Uh, and then the uh, one number two kit, which we got right here, uh, open second for learning and reference materials, includes uh, Macintosh reference package, uh, two manuals, Macintosh reference, and getting started with your Macintosh, four discs, uh, Macintosh system tools, Macintosh printing tools, Macintosh utilities one, Macintosh utilities two. Uh, oh, we also got um, the HyperCard reference package, uh, which has two manuals, HyperCard user's guide, uh, HyperTalk beginner's guide, and introduction to scripting. Uh, three discs, HyperCard Ideas, uh, HyperCard Help, and HyperCard and Stacks, and one warranty card and one software license agreement. Thank you for purchasing this Macintosh 2CX computer system. If you have any cu questions, please contact your authorized Apple dealer. So, okay, and we got some warranty stuff here and software. Oh, and, and the most important thing is the stickers. Uh, that's that's very stickers. important. Yeah, the little multicolor stickers. Uh, we all love that stuff. So, okay, good, great. And I'll put that away. When was the last the time you saw a Mac come with styrofoam packaging? <laughs> Yeah, it's this, been a this while. is like this is this is high quality styrofoam right here. This is the cancerous stuff. You know you don't want to you don't want to eat this. Uh, this is, it's great for the environment. So I'm not going to bother opening this because it's just there's nothing really in there. I don't think. Open hmm? second. Open second. Yeah. I mean, do we yeah. do we need to open this? It's, no. I mean, it's, it's shrink wrapped. Nobody so, reads the manuals anymore. Anyway. Yeah, that's why they stop. No, doing no nobody manuals. likes. So we just want to we want to dig in and, and get the stuff. Get the so we'll take the, the mouse, mouse out here. Go ahead and uh, take it out of the thing. So we got the yeah the ADB mouse. It's all right here. Uh, you know, a vroom, as the as the ads say, you know, the ADB plug. So we can go put that on the thing. Uh, let's see, we got a power cord here. You can take that out. This is the the old style power cords uh, with the the stuff. Put that there. Old style. I still have a ton of these. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I may not open it, but we can at least pull it out. Whoa! This is the uh, open second for learning and reference materials. It's bigger than I thought it's it was. A big, uh, a big number two in Apple Garamond, you know, or ITC Garamond condensed. And it's, more it's styrofoam. One of our favorites. And more styrofoam. It's nice and heavy too, right, Patrick? Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's so thing. heavy. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and, and pull this thing out here. Let's see. All right, that's styrofoam. Don't make sure it doesn't get anywhere because that stuff sticks. Okay, there we go. There's. Wow, we have an audience. All right. Let's see. Okay, so we can, um, I guess, go ahead and pull this thing out. And it's, uh, it's, and it's, 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 oh, it's got an important sticker on here. It says important. 
uh, please refer to the license agreement before breaking the seal and using the software included with this computer. Breaking the seal means that you agree to the terms and conditions of the license. The, this license is located on the back of the Open Me First package. So we better, uh, we better probably see the, uh, oh, we don't need to see the license. Who <laughs> actually reads this stuff anyway? So let's go ahead and take the box away. And we'll put this thing down there and I um, guess we'll go ahead and open her up, shall we, Patrick? Yeah. So why don't you, uh, why don't you grab the, the plastic and I'll just kind of hold on to this and pull. All right, there we go. This is the Macintosh 2CX uh, personal computer. Uh, all right, well, why don't we, the first thing we should do, we should probably just open it up and see what's inside. So or, actually, we can take a look at the back here. Uh, we got power, we got uh, floppy disk port, uh, we got SCSI and uh, uh, printer and uh, modem uh, serial uh, connections, uh, speakers, and two ADB ports, and then some expansion cards. Now, this is one of the rare Macs that had the, imp the power for the monitor. So you can right. plug it in, and when you turn the Mac on, the monitor also. That is correct, comes yes. Up. Uh, it's a shame computers don't do that these days. I know. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and crack her open. Maybe. Oh, it's oh, it's got a security screw. Um, one moment, let me go grab oh. my uh, the screwdriver out of my. We need that coat. secure tool, <laughs> known as a screwdriver. All right, I got my lab coat's got a screwdriver in it. We'll just kind of pull it out, and there it is. Excuse me while I pull this out, Brian. All right, Phillips or it's Phillips. So. It's oh, where do those crickets come from? Should call them terminators. The SCSI Terminators? Yeah. <laughs> All right, security screws out. We don't actually need that. All right, now we'll crack her open. Here we go. And voila. So we got, uh, we got a hard drive here. It's an 80 megabyte hard drive, a SCSI drive, Quantum. Remember those guys? Oh, they, were, they were good people. Uh, the power supply, and uh, that's in some RAM inside of here. It's a little... How many megabytes? Uh, uh, let's see. It's four sims. Yeah, let me see. I need to pull one of these out to see how big the sim is. Okay. Did the 2CX use the sims that were the same as the PC ones, or were these special? I can't remember. This, I think, is one megabyte. So we got four megabytes of RAM wow. here, I believe. That's a lot. It's not confirmed. I'll have to check when you turn it on, but I believe we got four uh, megabytes of RAM. So I'll just pop that one back in. And there we go. Uh, let's see. That is not the processor, that's the coprocessor, the 8882. I think the actual processor is underneath there somewhere. Yeah. We can't actually see it. And this is the 68030? Uh, yeah, this is the 030. Um, there is no uh, heat sink because, you know, these things didn't generate any heat. It was, yeah. This is all the power you needed. It was just uh, air cooled. So uh, the processor is under there somewhere. It's probably too hard yeah. to get to. Well, there's a fan in the front here that blows out through the front vents. Somehow I think the power supply actually comes out pretty easily. I haven't done this in a while, but uh, let's just take a look and see if I can, uh, we can just pull that out. It might just pop out. I see, I'm gonna break this and it's gonna be fun. Or maybe not. Oh, wait, that. Uh, oh, there's a screw here. It's, oh, it's a okay. That's it. Okay, there we, there we go. Pull the power supply out, yeah, okay. And then over here, I don't know if you can see this, Brian, we got the, uh, the actual processor, the 68030. Yeah, it's ni nice and focused there, nice and crisp and clear. You can really see that that baby right there. Yeah, that's that's power. Mm -hmm. That's the power that gives you the power to be your best. Okay, we'll just continue <laughs> on without mentioning that ever again. And I'll put this power supply back in the thing. We'll close that. All right, we're good. So. Now, this computer doesn't have, uh, if you notice, uh, when we're looking at the ports in the back, there's no video out. So we actually need a video card. So uh, luckily we also purchased with this, uh, let's see if we can get a shot of this, the uh, Apple Macintosh 2 video card. Uh, this is this is the uh, extended, high re extended high resolution display video card. Uh, there are a couple versions of this. Uh, so the monitor that we have runs at 640 by 480 and uh, it'd be nice to have 256 color, so 8-bit color. This came in both 8-bit and 4-bit versions depending on the amount of uh, video RAM that's in it. I'm not sure what this is, so I really hope we could get all the 256 colors instead of the 16 colors that the 4-bit would give us. So. Crossing fingers, we can only hope, right, Patrick? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, why don't you go ahead and go ahead and get that thing opened? I'll put my screwdriver away. Really? You want me to break the shrink wrap? It feels yeah. Terrible. That's fine. <laughs> I 
really should plug my thing in so I could actually hear what uh, what Brian's playing for us. Oh no, don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> plug that in. Oh, there we go. Oh, now I can hear things. This is great. Now I got a nice cable. It's okay. period music from the fifties. How fitting. Yes. Come on, where's the eighties? This computer is from nineteen fifty-six. Um, <laughs> No, uh, this was released what year? It was uh, 1988. 88. 88. Okay. Uh, yeah, 87 was uh, the original 2 and the um, uh, the SE, and then 88 was the 2X, and then the 2CX, I think, was also 88, and the SC30, or SC30 was 89. So and if you can the, get the camera shot up the here. The 2CI was 89. Mm -hmm. So, okay, here we go. So the video card, we'll just get this out of the box, right? Ready to pull up on the flap? Oh, look, we got... Uh, Another packing list. We better read that. Okay, this is important. This package contains the following items. The Macintosh 2 high-resolution video dis display video card, model number uh, 630-4222 or 630-4230, uh, and let's see, warranty card and referral card. Oh, it's also got list du contenu uh, de Oh, apparently it's sold in Canada as et well. Et it's French. Oh, it's fr okay, I, I thought that was uh, just I grew up in Maine. broken English. We okay. French. So we got here uh, the anti-static baths. It's very important that we handle this with care. We don't want to be rubbing our feet on carpet as we're doing this. So this came out March 7th, 1989, the chat room says. Oh, really? Scooter X. Okay. It's the day after my birthday. Interesting. Well, you are born in 1989? You're hardly... No, I was born March 6th. <laughs> so there we go. There's the, the, uh, the high-resolution display video card. And uh, it's got it's got both banks of memory here, so I believe that is the higher uh, video memory, 8-bit version. Because I bet this one in the box here, on the 4-bit one, doesn't have anything in it. That's just there for expansion purposes. So there you go. That's um, that's the beauty, isn't it? We should probably install it so we can see what we're doing on this uh, yeah. powerful computer. We'll just you know put the uh, thing in there, and we'll put that there, and you can close that up and. Put that away. So there's, uh, so this is a 12-inch uh, new bus card. It's got the uh, nice new bus expansion connector thing, which there are three of in this particular model of computer. And so we will go ahead and pull one of these plugs out. I don't know, Brian or Patrick. Uh, What's that? Which uh, which which of these slots shall we put it in? Ooh, that's a tough choice there. So it's it's one of, one of these. Should we put it on the outer one, or should we put it kind of in the middle, where it's because there's like nothing else in here, really? We're not going to put anything else in there, are we? Not at the moment, no. Okay. We can move it later uh, if we do. Let's do it on the bottom one, so on, we can see one? more of the board. Yeah. Okay. Well, we could we could do that. I I hope. Uh, let's. Uh, how do we get this thing out of here? I think if we you had to squeeze the plastic, pushes, pushes right? out. Oh, pushes out. Right. Let's see. Let's kind of pop that out there. I just set that to the side somewhere. I would, and we'll I would always lose those. Put this card in, kind of right uh, in like that, I think. Presses up Slide against the, the edge thing and put it in straight. Pushes in and there. There you go. No, no screws. No, no must. No fuss. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. All right. So we got that in. Uh, I think that's. Uh, it says the eighteen eighty-eight on the board. Yeah, yeah. So the motherboard is eighty-eight, uh, but I guess. Well, it came it out early eighty-nine, released. so yeah. that's, that makes sense. Huh. So, but the 2CI also came out in 89, right, Scooter X? Or maybe that was like late 89. Anyway, so, okay, so that's in there. It's kind of floppy because it's so, uh, it's so big. Um, floppy, you say? So we'll, uh, we'll just <laughs> close this up and uh, never say that again. And, uh, okay, let's put that on the thing. And All right, we're good. Now, so that's, uh, that's, that's that. All right, now what's, uh, what's next on our, on our thing here? So we can, let's see. Um, uh, well, I guess we need the monitor, right? Everyone yeah. needs a monitor for the computer, so let's go ahead and get the monitor on the All right. well, let's, let's thing. Well, actually, let's, let's clean this up a bit. We don't need uh, this. We can just put that up we'll over there. Move this. Uh, some stuff, and we can just kind of put that away. Then why don't you put the computer over to the side there, and then we can bring the monitor box up. You got it? Yep. All right, so we have over here the, um, as you can see, it's the the uh, Apple Color high resolution RGB monitor. So this thing ran at 640 by 480. Do you understand how many pixels that is, Brian? No, I have no idea. Oh my God, this is high resolution. Wow. Okay, it's 13, 13 inch monitor we're talking here. So like, I mean, that's a lot of pixels com uh, compact in the 13 inches of, of uh, visual range. Uh, okay, so we got the, um, the uh, high, uh, let's see, the high resolution RGB monitor owner's guide. Because uh, no, it's an RGB, RGB monitor, it's not VGA. You can't confuse the two. Right, this is RGB. 
incredible stuff. Uh, this is the uh, this is a little stand for it, but we don't need that because we actually have another stand that we're going to use. So I got to just throw that over there. I could throw that somewhere. Now I got to get this thing out of here. Now, uh, one caveat I probably should say is that this stuff is kind of untested right now. I don't. I, I assume it's going to work, but I haven't turned it on in a long time. And one thing I know almost certainly is that the sound does not work in this computer because after 20 years, the capacitors start to leak, and the first thing that goes is the sound. And I have not replaced capacitors at the moment, although I plan on doing that sometime when I actually restore these things. You are a braver man than I to be doing this in front of a live audience. <sighs> I just love demo fails, Brian. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll pull this thing out of here. And here. Okay. Ooh. I don't need that power cord. That's not the one that came with. I got a better one down there. Okay. All right, so here we go. We can just take a look at this on the, uh, how about the single? Can you see that on there? Oh, yeah, we got a good shot of that. There. Oh, look at that. It's, it's kind of dirty. It's, I, this is a not very good condition, but uh, hopefully it works, and that's kind of all we need at the moment. So, okay, whatever. So it's, it, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Uh, and uh, let's, why don't we get the stand? It's, it's uh, up down there. It's down, ah, here it yeah, is. Why don't you have a seat? Well, okay, I'll have a seat right over here. Um, Brian W. in the chat room made a good point. Do we have a fire extinguisher nearby? Uh, we, we got one right over there. Actually. Okay, good, good. We haven't plugged anything in yet. No, no. I Best just... to be prepared. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, monitor stand. I, uh, it's not the original one. I think this is the second version of these. Uh, but it fits uh, perfectly right on top of the computer here. Assuming that it's got all the feet. Yes, it does. So we'll just kind of put that right here. And, you know, and this fits, stand was manufactured nice. by Apple? Yes. And it matches, uh, if we go back to the single here, it matches the, uh, the Snow White design language styling of the entire box with all these nice lines here. Uh, okay, so let's get the monitor on here. I think there's like a, there's a uh, circular indent on the bottom of the monitor that this let's take a look. fits on and the feet should go, the feet where there is no, oh, nuts, we gotta, we gotta remove that thing. We need a screwdriver again. All right, let me go get that one moment, please. <laughs> All right, I'll just kind of come over here and... Now, Patrick, can you tell us again what model uh, computer this is? We have a couple viewers in the, the chat room wondering. This is a Macintosh 2CX. Ah. And we're hooking up the uh, Apple design, is it, no, it's Apple color, high-resolution high RGB display. So why don't you uh, rotate that thing a bit and I'll try to get in there with the screwdriver that it's probably a little too small for this. Now the RGB displays did use 15-pin connectors, oh, okay, that's not but they work. were not entirely compatible with VGA, so you needed special, special cables. Mm. If you don't mind me asking, Patrick, how old were you when this uh, computer came out? Uh, let's see, 1989. I just had my birthday, so that was uh, 16. Yes. Would you have wanted one of these for your birthday? Oh, absolutely. Uh, at this time, I was still using an Apple IIc. Ah. So I would have loved to have had one of these. How did you but, live? But I believe they sold for thousands and thousands of dollars. Yes. Back I, then, I that is adjust for inflation. Of thousands of dollars. Yeah, adjust for inflation, and it's still crazy. I remember it was a big deal when the Apple or the uh, Macintosh LC came out. And that sold for three thousand, and that was LC for low cost. Yeah, that was, it was that three thousand dollars. That was that was the computer that uh, I grew up on that my parents bought because it was uh, such low cost. Yeah, three thousand yeah. dollars in nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety dollars. Yeah. yeah, so that's right. crazy. Let's see if we can get this on the thing here. So the the rubber feet are missing on this monitor, so hopefully that'll still fit right. Let's see what we can do here. Back for back for there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh. Are you sure this is for this monitor? Uh, I've, maybe. Well, it's in the hole. That's what she let's, said. Uh, oh, that sounds Ooh. great. All right, well, maybe we shouldn't use this stand. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, let's try this again. I'm sure it's that monitor. Maybe it's for a smaller one. Well, cause or, it's, or this it's thing is just so... Out. Well, that's probably part of the problem, <coughs> but... What? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let's do that. Hey. Let's try this way. Let's see what happens when we just kind of put this on the thing there. Uh, that's right, folks. More. We're flying by the seat of our pants here. This is exciting TV. 
Ooh. Oh, look at that. Wow. wow. That was amazing. Okay, so there we go. We got we got the uh, the computer here in it, all its um, 89 glory. It's Unfortunately, it's somewhat yellow because, again, this is an unrestored uh, just monitor that I think I have a better one somewhere, but it's good. Yeah, now, once, it's once the plastic's yellow, is there a way to restore? There are some ways. Brian, why don't you actually tell us about this? Because I know you were messing around with, uh, with oh, this. Oh, I thought about messing around with it, but I actually haven't attempted it yet. But maybe in a, a future episode of Know How, we'll go over how to restore old plastic. That would okay. be great. As, as, yeah. as, uh, for the home viewers, uh, Brian's actually in the computer. That's why you can't actually see him, because he's inside of here. His voice is just kind of coming out. Okay. It's uh, a little tight. It's a tight fit, but you got to do what you got to right. do. Okay. I was hoping we'd be able to see Brian, but uh, I guess I guess we don't have that <laughs> capability uh, for whatever various technical reasons. All right, let's get this turned around. I'll well, try and step out of here in a little it's, bit. This is light as a feather. Um, get around. Okie dokie. Okay. So the C did not stand for compact in this. <laughs> uh, I I believe it did. Because well, oh, okay. Jesus. So so the two CX. <laughs> the two CX was the the compact version of the two X, which was oh, the longer right. one. Yeah. Uh, that had the six new bus slot. So this was the compact one that actually also fit on its side, but uh, then you can't put the monitor on top, and well, that's just silly. Okay, so uh, there we go. Uh, see what, okay, so what else we got? Um, we need uh, we need the keyboard, so which is not is not included with the with the device. So we have the right here. We have the Apple keyboard from the uh, same era. Uh, so you had the option of purchasing the Apple keyboard or the Apple extended keyboard. Um, I brought the Apple keyboard because it's smaller. I was prefer I preferred the extended keyboard, or they called it the Nimitz, I believe. Uh, was it because it was like an was, aircraft carrier yeah. it was so large, heavy too. You could you could kill someone with that thing, as long as it's not the extended keyboard two that you prefer. Uh, I don't remember the difference. It, not the Apple Design keyboard. That thing was a piece that of. Was, uh, yeah. All right, so <laughs> or the split one. I had, oh, my yeah. roommate in college had that. We, we have a box of that in the garage, I think, because uh, John had one of those. Or, like, I the could never, I'd always have to put here. it back together. Okay, so to um, I'm missing the, the upper styrofoam, that's all right. So we got the uh, another packing list. So Apple keyboard, uh, this package contains the following as Apple keyboard, Apple keyboard cable, referral card, and warranty card. Excellent. Okay, so we'll take the keyboard out. Again, it's this is unrestored, it's just as is, kind of yellowed, whatever. But, ooh. Yeah, listen to that. And uh, the ADB cable, which. Can also double as a S video cable. Uh, no, it can't. No. Same connectors, but can't use the cables. Well, that's funny because I've used it as really? an S video cable and it worked. Maybe it's the other way around that doesn't work. Maybe. Like it's I was hooking like up. You, you I had a ton of these and I was hooking up my VCR back in the day and hmm. like, oh, I need another S video cable. I'll I think, yeah, this, I think the other worked. way doesn't work because so. I think I've tried that. But then also, I think I read somewhere that like it's actually not good to do that because it could you could fry it or something because ADB was really finicky. They say I'm not supposed to use a coat hanger as an antenna <clears> too, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. Government yeah. telephone cable for right. speaker wire. I've done okay, all okay. So uh, actually, we should probably plug it in first so we can ground the thing. I believe that's what the manuals always <laughs> said you should do first. So I got the power cable actually right here. Uh, oh. We we should have probably planned for some um, some power. Oh, down it's there. under the table. I can go down there. Okay, so you want to? If only we had an engineer yeah. on the set. Yeah, Radford. Oh, Where are those lazy <laughs> jerks? So I'll go ahead and plug this in over here, and you can get down there. I'm just kind of. Secure that in its thing. Uh, I so the Model M had the, the buckling spring keys, which are very nice, but I actually prefer these, which don't have the buckling spring. But they're a little, uh, they're um, I don't know, they're different. I, I, I prefer this way. I think they're the Alp switches. Not sure. Okay, so over here we got the uh, the monitor cable and the and the power cable for the monitor. I'll go ahead and plug the uh, ADB in here. We're gonna what? Oh yeah, we're we're, we're turning this baby on. <laughs> Just stand back. We're gonna turn it on, cable. and the lights are all gonna dim. It's gonna be great. Another monitor cable. I'm gonna plug this into the ADB slot here. This and is the monitor, the monitor power power cable. cable. So we'll. Uh, there's a lot of stuff under this table. Wow. Okay, so we'll plug this in, just like so. So I heard a rumor that Leo will use this for Twit on Sunday. I've heard lots of rumors. <laughs> okay, I'll plug that in there. Okay, so now these are kind of daisy chained together. All right, I'm going to turn the monitor on. Do it the because uh, the, the computer is going to be powering. So right now there's no power actually going to it at the moment. Over here we got the uh, the this is the monitor cable. So I'll plug that in and secure these screws, which is very important, as as you all know. 
Let's see. I'll plug the mouse uh, into the keyboard here. I'll plug this in like that. Now we could plug the mouse into the back because there's two ADB ports, but yeah. uh, but either either way works. It's still flexible. This this device, this computing Many device. Many configuration options. Exactly. All right. Uh, we don't have any SCSI devices currently, uh, or a floppy drive, and we have no need for that. So this is basically all we need, I think, at the moment. Um, now. We also have for, um, to use possibly, uh, we have a box of um, floppy disks here. We can put it on the, uh, on the overhead shot. Maybe, Brian, if we have the, have the okay, there it is. So it's the, a box of uh, floppy disks. There are 3D renderings of the save icon. So in case we need to save any files externally off the hard drive, we have these floppy disks on standby, ready to go. My uh, thing is uh, a little tied up at the moment. Excuse me, there we go. All right. Now, uh, now also, uh, we uh, like so we, at Twit here. We have a we have a big computer network going on. We have actually lots of networks. Um, so, whoa, whoa! Did somebody try and plug it in? That was weird. Huh? Never mind. Uh, that was weird. Okay, so <laughs> um, we have actually the uh, so in case we want to add this thing to the network, uh, we have the uh, the Apple Local Talk locking connector kit uh, that will be used um, for this particular computer, as you can see there. So we can just kind of open this up and see what's in there. Some stuff. Yeah, I'm not seeing and, an uh, Ethernet port. There's a local talk. Uh, it must have built-in Wi-Fi. Yeah, this this uh, this does not have um, any Ethernet, uh, but uh, we can what? we can we can connect uh, this to a to a local talk network, and we'll just we'll just replace Twit's Ethernet network with local talk network because we also have uh, down here. I also have the uh, the uh, 10 meter cable uh, for the local talk stuff. Uh, that you know, so we so we can actually run this through the twit and um, connect all the computers up to it because we got now lots I, of cable as I you used can to see. use phone net yeah which used it was the same thing right. but used phone cable which was much more affordable right but these are cool sure yeah okay so but that's expensive that's that. so we could we could we have the option of doing this uh, later today uh, now we also have um, I'll, I'll get into that well I don't know should, should we get into something that I, we could maybe do with this computer well I think people want to see it turned on okay we want to see it turned on so Brian why don't you uh, can we see the overhead here and make sure yeah, we, that, uh, we can actually see the whole thing? Yeah, we got the screen. Looks is that, good. Uh, is that good enough? <laughs> yep. I, I, I gotta, love this power button. Kind of get I it, love the uh, location of the power here. button, and I wish they still did this. Yeah, computers are great in the 80s, huh? So yeah. should oh, we do okay. a countdown for Should we, should we count forward? down here? Now, now right. remember, this may not work, and we could look very foolish, but right. Um, right. It, it might work. But there's almost guaranteed there's going to be no sound on this. So... There could oh, be a fire. Is, a fire. I'm, yeah. I'm behind the computer. Okay. So Alex is doing this at his own mortal mortal peril. That's right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna risk my life for for you, the viewers. Demonstration here. Okay. So are are we ready, Brian? We're ready. We're standing by. Are Are you gonna count down, or should I just hit the button? Uh, five, four, three, four, five. Just just. Oop. Okay. What go ahead. That? Hit the button. Hit the button. Oh, whoops. Okay. Here here we go. Whoa, you can I hear, hear it. noises. I hear right. a massive fan. That's the hard drive, actually. Ooh, everybody stand back. Okay, so I heard the monitor de-gauss. Oh, there, ooh, look at that. Okay, let's, I got some brightness here. Ooh, here, maybe I should dim the lights. <laughs> okay, that monitor is as bright as it's going to wow. get. Okay. Okay, ah. that's, uh, there, there we go. Man. We got the desktop, and, uh... We might need to set up a camera behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, probably... I can move this one around. Yeah, we don't we don't need the uh, the overhead really anymore. It's like we're looking into the past. You mean the future? Oh, yeah. uh, the future. The Brian, future? you don't understand. This is the future right here. <laughs> How is this the future, Alex? Ah, well, because um because it just it just is. So we're going to move the camera <laughs> over here so you can actually see what's going on on the screen. We'll probably have to set the uh the the brightness of that way up the gain or something or stop or stop it up. Uh, stop it. I don't know actually, what camera look stuff. Just need to focus. This, this is nice with the, uh, the the refresh rate here on these on these nice monitors. As you can clearly see, it mm -hmm. looks good in our cameras. Uh, so, well, okay. So one thing I noticed off the bat is uh, the uh, the Apple uh, logo on the menu is black, which means that um, it's not it's not set on color right now. So I'm going to go to the control panel and see if it actually gives us the option for that. It probably does. Yep. Okay. So it just doesn't remember the color setting because the battery inside is dead. The uh, well, what was that battery called? That like the little that little one that was like purple. It's like a half double A, but like it's a lithium battery that was, that are really expensive. That it's like it holds the clock and all those kind of settings and stuff. So I'm gonna set this to colors, 
and then 256 and wow we do have we have 256 colors here this is, this is incredible 256 of a palette of like 16 million or something okay there we go all right let's, let's see what else we got here in the control panel we probably need to set the date and the time okay what time is it uh brian uh it is exactly 5 13 5 13 p.m 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 okay there we go was set on 12 hour and today's date is january 20 24th fourth i re recognize the date uh four yeah oh no let's i guess we'll have to set this to 14. i assume that'll work. there's no calendar so <laughs> well it doesn't work in the newton after 2010 right. you can't have but a there's no actual calendar here so it doesn't matter so this yeah. is this is probably 1914 that yes. it's thinking and it does but because there's no calendar the days don't actually matter so there we go i'm going to check the speaker volume here and Nope, there's no sound coming up, so uh, we'll just have to live without sound for a while. Uh, and just uh, for the record here, the, the RAM cache is 32K. That's important to know. Not really. Um, oh, we got we got all sorts of desktop backgrounds here because we got color. So we got a nice purple pattern here. We got some uh, got some brown. Uh, we got some uh, some some um, toothpaste looking stuff here. Isn't that right, Brian? See the toothpaste? That's right. It's gray because it looks like the toothpaste. Um, we got some more gray, um, more purple, and Okay, there's really not not many options there. Uh, I'll I'll keep it on the purple because everybody likes purple. Uh, so we do have color that is confirmed. Uh, let's see. Uh, th this is. Uh, oh yeah, we should probably say what version of the OS it. I believe it's 605. Let's see. Uh, yeah, System 605, which is uh, what came on on this machine. Larry Steve or Larry John Steve and Bruce. And I believe that's not Steve Jobs. I believe that's Steve yeah. Cap. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 1983 to 90. Hmm. So that means this software is from 1990. This particularly, uh, yeah, this, um, I, th I don't know what this originally came with. Maybe 604 or 505 or something. I don't know. Uh, but 605 is what's what came with this particular package that I have. Uh, so, yeah. So, yes, this is, this is System 6. Mm -hmm. uh, we probably have MultiFinder that we can turn on if we wanted uh, some uh, um, some multitasking going on. But uh, Looks pretty bare bones. So, do you have any apps? Because this is a System 6, we don't have Sosumi, which is the best sound ever. Yeah. Uh, we only have Boing, uh, Clink Clank, Monkey, and Simple Beep. Um, but we don't have sounds that we can't actually hear any we of those. some external speakers? Uh, but if, uh, if I had the choice, I would probably do Monkey, because, you know, who, who doesn't like that? We also don't have the Wild Eep, I should point out. Um, okay, so that's that's all fun and dead. Oh, there I we go. Something. Dropping sound. Oh, what? That, that uh. doesn't... <laughs> Maybe from Studio Magic, we can hear these. Brian, oh, Brian, Brian, Brian's doing this. Brian, sound. Brian, you have to understand that's System Seven sounds that you're playing. This is System Six. Ugh, <sighs> how could I have gotten that wrong? I, I don't know. I'm what, going back I'm, to the books. You tell me. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, what else we got here? Oh, the Chooser. Everybody remembers the Chooser, right? We all love that thing. Mm. I'll just kind of open that up. Wow, this is so speedy. Okay, so we got some drivers loaded for uh, some uh, uh, image writers and a laser writer. That's nice. Okay. Um, what else we got here? Uh, oh, scrapbook. Everyone remember scrapbook? It's like where you could copy and paste stuff. Oh, that was essential. It was essential before the multitasking. Because you can only yeah. copy one thing at a time, so you had to paste it into the scrapbook. So look at all those great... Oh, that uh, memo. Great. I used that so many times, and by that I mean none. Yeah, it's, we, all, we all love these things. Uh, let's see. Um, we got alarm clock. Oh, great. That, that'll be good without the sound that we have. Uh, the special menu. Oh, we can do some fancy things here. Color. We could, we could label this. Color. Let's just take a look in the drive that is labeled cake for some reason. That huh. must be what I left it at. That's not standard. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe it is. Uh, so all that's in it right now is just a system folder because there's nothing installed because this is a, this is a new computer, right? Um, and so there you go. So here's a system folder with all sorts of fun stuff in there. So we probably should install some stuff just to kind of see what's in it. The uh, reference kind of, plugged in a speaker. I assume that I don't work. think that'll work because no? I think it's actually the sound circuits. But we could try okay, it. Okay, so, so it's not the speaker I'll itself. Pl plug it's it in, and is, are they are they on? It's just like this. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm clicking. Nope. The, so it's the circuitry, yeah. not not the speaker it's itself. It's the, it's the capacitors are are leaked. Well, let's do that. Yeah, it, it needs some uh, restoration work to. Um, yeah, it's Boo. All right. So if you want to get morning, software, so. we have to go and log into the App Store, right? <sighs> the what? The App Store. We, yeah, yes, we, we walk down to the, to the to store, the, to the store the the block, uh, and get some appetizers some before we install the <laughs> yes, software. Yes, exactly. Uh, we should also probably say uh, what we also have uh, that we can plug in, because we, we have an idea what to, what to do with this uh, computer. <laughs> so we also actually have, um, I'll, I'll explain the idea. So we have the, uh, 
let's see, the uh, Apple Fax modem. Uh, so we can actually plug this thing in and get on the internet uh, via the modem. So we can just kind of open this thing up and take a look at what's in here. Uh, as, um, as you can see, here's, here it is, um, the modem. See, it's, it's, it's nice, and, nice and big, kind of. Uh, matches the styling of, of all the stuff, which is which is great. Is there a name for that styling? Uh, this is the Snow White uh, design language. This is a pure example of that. Um, I've got a behind the shot for you too. If you oh, can. that's that's perfect. I'll just kind of put bit, it yeah. over my shoulder. There like we that. go. There we go. Excuse me. <laughs> all right. That's what they call an over the. Over yes, this is this is an on the shoulder shot. shot. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good enough. Uh, and it's got power, but we don't actually want to plug this in because I don't think we actually have. Let's see what ports is good phone in here. Port anywhere. It apparently has, oh, one for, wait, I'm confused here. This one that goes to the computer, this power, which is a huge thing, this phone line, and plug the f fax machine or phone in, so it passes through. But, wait, what? Why is there? Well, thank God we got a manual right here. We got the user's guide that will, can explain these, these uh, details to us, but we could probably get a shot of, uh, of the back of this thing. Oh, yeah. Wow, Ooh. look at that. Let me get that in focus there. There you go, kind of hold it. Yeah, look at that. There's two ports. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So one goes to the computer, obviously, and I'm not sure. All right. We got some icons on there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Makes a good clicking and, and sound. And that's yeah. the power connector, which is an that interesting looks, uh, DIN. Yeah, that looks DIN, a lot like uh, the Apple IIc power connector. It's a DIN 7 connector. Yeah, I don't remember. I think the Apple IIc was DIN 5. And look at this power oh, supply. That's, that looks go. like the Apple IIc huh? one. Well, where, where are we going huh? here? We're okay, going to so, go close up. All right, so here, here's the, the power supply. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's heavy. Here's the, uh, the, the DIN connector there. Maybe it's, is this the 2C power? No, this is no, Apple Fax. No, it says different. Apple Fax mode I, I power supply. I think the 2C was uh, <coughs> DIN 5. Hmm. Uh, so it's and it's got it's got the, the you know the plug there, and then the other end that plugs into the thing. So um, we will hold off on this uh, until we um, uh, have a thing to. Oh, it came with um, it came with a phone connector. Wow. Oh, this, this just got exciting. This this is uh, so if you want your phone to run like the '80s, you plug it into a cable that came with the thing. Okay. Well, no, this enough. could be an issue because you know when we need when we were building the tri twin brick house. We didn't want to deal with a PBX. No, no. So, so that's why um, that's why our IT Russell, guy, Russell our IT guy. Me, uh, recommended we get Apple Fax modems to uh, and to, it was a to, no to connect to the internet um, and all join together and happy with our uh, with our um, stuff. So uh, we'll just put this away for now and maybe we'll plug this in later when we have an idea of what uh, what we're doing. So because we have the ability to get on the internet. Uh, and uh, Brian, what is the internet? If only we had a video to explain what Ooh, or what, how to get on what, the internet. What, yeah, uh, maybe we should install the internet in our home. I think. Um, oh, forget it. Just, <laughs> if only we had a way of searching for something like that. Okay. Yeah. If, only, if only we planned this stuff ahead of time. <laughs> okay, so we'll just put this away or watch take that. So, um, so we have we have the uh, we have the modem. So this thing we can get on the internet. Now, um, well, what are we going to do when we get on the internet? Well. We have. Uh, we also have some other some fun stuff here. We have uh, some programming things here. We got Think C, uh, the programmer's choice. So, so the idea is what we're going to do is um, oh, we got we got this shot. We can maybe use. Um, so we um, so we uh, oh it's for educational use only. We'll just cover that up. So um, what we can do is. Uh, with this and the internet, we can actually use this to, what Patrick here is going to develop a Twit app to run on, on this, uh, on, the, on the old Mac uh, platform here. And um, so, so we'll have to be able to watch Twit and interact with our, the... It, by watch Twit, you mean watch uh, one image every minute. <laughs> Yes, I believe that still counts as watching. Uh, so we'll be able to watch Twit on here with the Twit app. That's going to be fantastic, developed by uh, by uh, Patrick here. Now, um, but of course, when you're uh, when you're developing these apps, you need graphics, or else it's going to look really ugly. Um, so, like, thank God, we also got uh, we also got uh, Illustrator 88 here, uh, which can we, we can build our, our high quality vector graphics uh, to use in this app and kind of design it uh, in, in a professional look and way. Uh, and then with that, also we can make some documentation. Uh, with uh, with Aldous PageMaker here, um, this is version version 4.0. Um, so we can uh, we can actually design some some documentation to send out with the box of disks with the with the Twit app, right, Patrick? Absolutely. Because we, we need to distribute this on floppy disk, uh, so we'll box it. We'll print it big manuals, but that are bound. Is, this would be good for doing the final documentation in the present 
uh, presented sort of way in the book, but we need something to develop the documentation and keep track of all our internal spreadsheets and other documents. What could we use for that? So, yeah, so we actually need to, oops. Uh-oh. Well, okay, well. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold Technical on. malfunction. Hold on, we got some, we got some oh disc boy. spillage here. I'll one get it, one I'll moment, get it, please. I get it. Ah. I got it. You go. All right, so. <laughs> that's box hilarious. was not sealed. Yeah, this, this box is pretty uh, pretty junky, but that's okay. Uh, well, this sounds good. If I'll just print this stuff against my mic here, this is awesome. All oh, right, we'll just kind of stuff that in the thing. There we go. Okay, so, all right. Here, let's, everybody. let's just remind the audience that this is not pre-produced. We're doing this all live in front of a, a I don't, studio audience here. I don't know what pre-production is. Uh, <laughs> so, exactly. Um, okay, so, yeah, so we need kind of a word processor, something to to make the our documents um, and spreadsheets and stuff like that. So we, uh, we have the, the good Claris Works uh, version Two, I think. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, thank. Okay, we got we got um, uh, the required equipment uh, at, for this is a Macintosh Plus Classic LC SE Portable PowerBook uh, Macintosh Quadrahona. Oh, or or two computer. Oh, thank God. Okay, so th this is a Mac Two CX, so that counts as a two computer. So we can run Claris Works, everybody. Okay, and uh, we need two 800K disk drives. Uh, but a hard drive is recommended, uh, so we, we do have 80 megabytes of hard drive storage that we can use. Uh, minimum one megabyte of memory. I should actually check how much memory I have. I forgot to look. So uh, on about the finder, okay, we do have uh, we do have 4096k of memory. So we, those were four one megabyte SIMs. Uh, just like to point out. Okay, we can get a shot of, up in here. Uh, there you go. Oh, look at that. Uh, and we'll just like to point out that the system currently is using 181K of that RAM, of that memory, and the Finder itself is using, uh, oh, it has reserved uh, the rest of it, so that's uh, 3,915 kilobytes of, of RAM memory that it's got reserved. But yeah, it looks like it's only using... It's only using just a small fraction, yeah. Yeah, about 200K of, of that at the moment, so, but it has that reserved for, uh, for applications running in the Finder. Um, okay, so so we do have Claris Works. Uh, we, can, we can run and, and make our, our spreadsheets and stuff to, to run the business on. Right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But we also want to have some fun. We also want some fun. Um, so, uh, you know, of course, everybody's favorite, um, uh, we, we, got, uh, we got After Dark here oh. to entertain us with some beautiful screensavers uh, of, of toasters flying through space. Um, and perhaps... Well, we don't want the screen burning. Right, we don't want to burn it because uh, there actually the is quite a bit of burning on this particular monitor, but uh, we don't want more. So yes, we do have After Dark here, and it, uh, After Dark features <clears throat> and it has um, over thirty display modules. Over wow. thirty. Okay, uh, it's got sound. Uh, it's got auto or manual password protection, company logo and message display, so we can have our Twit logo on here to lock these computers well, when nobody's sitting at them. Yeah. But After Dark was most famous for the flying toasters. Right, um, uh, yes. And I do remember having the Star Trek After Dark, which had all these little Star Trek sort of screensaver. Well, I don't believe things. this comes with that, but no, we do have programmer's so instructions. So you, Patrick, using our uh, Think C uh, programming kit here, that is not for educational purposes only, can, uh, can we can develop um, some, some, some Star Trek-y like uh, Screensavers in in the flying after dark. Toasters. Oh look, there's some toasters flying right and now. You may joke, but I have used Think C on a Macintosh. Just so you know. Oh, you're old. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, uh, okay. Um, and uh, and there you go. So we got that. Now we do want a little fun. Now um, it's not really like a game so much, um, but something that just it's a little fun to play around with and doodle. Uh, of course, we have Kid Picks, everybody's favorite. Your favorite uh, drawing program. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, just saying. It, it's 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 got awards of excellence uh, as printed on the box right here. It's Parents' Choice. Wow. Uh, and and it's Software Publisher Association's Excellence in Software, MacWorld World Class, and uh, Mac User Editor's Choice. This thing has awards. Wow. Can can we just download some excellence. shareware? I want to play Escape Velocity. It was the MacWorld 1996 game shareware game of the year. And the voices in that game were excellent. Well, I just, I love the voices in Escape Velocity. Well, so thank that God the best part. that we have that, that Apple Fax modem, uh, because then we can plug into the internet and acquire these shareware softwares. Yes. But right? you ever play no. Escape Velocity? No. no. 
Did you ever, the chat did, room ever play Escape Velocity? Did you like the did, voices in that? Did you ever play Cyber Blast? No. That was my I favorite Spectre. game. Spectre. Spectre. I just bought Spectre on eBay. Spectre login confirmed. Just, just yesterday. Welcome I just, to Cybernet. I just I bought still Spectre. Have the sound files I got the whole box of Spectre. Uh, is this what you're talking about? Velocity, Patrick? yes. Okay, we just we dug into the archives here. I've glider. Taking a look. Glider's one of my favorite. Uh, uh, this, I should have bought my brought my actual box video, of software. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, you probably it's I've looked and it's hard to find a video that has the actual voices for the fighters. I, I found one, mm. but. Uh, I, the reason I keep bringing it up is because I did the voices in Escape Velocity. <laughs> you did the voices yourself? I, I was the voice of all the fighters in Escape Velocity. And it, it was just right. me in front of a Radio Shack walkie-talkie saying, Roger, command acknowledged. Well, can, can we hear a, an example of that? Uh, I think this video has a narrative over it. So Yeah, right. I've looked for videos and there's not... I, I found one, but, but it had music. We, uh, we have you here in the yeah. studio, and Patrick. So could you like give us twenty voices? We can, we can, we can, we can reenact this little, live on my way. <clears throat> Whatever you say. That's. <laughs> it was just all sorts of acknowledgments whenever you gave them orders. Riveting. Right. Mm -hmm. But I loved this game. I helped Matt Birch develop it. Well, I tested it. Did, did you ever play Solarian Two? Uh, or the After Dark game Lunatic Fringe? Yes, I played. That's that one. one of my favorites too. Um, you now, Brian. Have a problem. <laughs> What's Brian, it? you may be interested because there was an Easter egg in this game, oh. and you could unlock the forklift, and it would destroy anything you launched the forklift at. And Tom Server would say, "He tried to kill me with the forklift," because <laughs> we were huge Mystery Science Theater fans. Uh, I would like that. Uh, they did Escape Velocity or EV Override. That was part two, and then they did one called Nova. That was done in Australia by a different team, and I was not in that. So Nova can. Dynafire. Well, let's copy this over to the hard drive. So if you're wondering why my twit bio says Escape Velocity, that's why. Here, you can listen to the uh, the floppy drive there. Oh. Somebody's knocking. <laughs> now cough. <coughs> Thank you. It's, it's copying. I got uh, files and folders remaining to be copied. Three. Kid picks. Wow. Good shot of my nose. I like this. Mm -hmm. We're really getting in there. Yeah. Let's, let's get, <laughs> I'll get closer. Oh, oh it's done. Yeah. Wow. That's that yeah. incredible. These computers these days. Look what they can do. Okay. So now we should have uh, we should have kid picks installed. Let me just eject the drive, and we'll we'll get a sound uh, sample of that too. Can you uh, pull that out a little bit for me, Patrick? Get the whole screen in there. Uh, oh, go back. <clears throat> I don't want to see Alex. Just yeah, just want to, we just want the screen here yeah, so we can you. see KidPix in all of its glory. Wow. So this is like Photoshop? Yes. This is this is the Photoshop of the day. Wow. Oh, yeah. Kid tested, mother approved? Apparently it's registered to Marty. <laughs> oh. Uh, isn't Marty. that your middle name? <laughs> Alex Marty Gumpel? Yeah, uh, yes. Uh, that's exactly it. Okay, <laughs> so um, who, who here is an artist? Ooh. Oh, I can, I can draw. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'll take the. Uh, oh, let's. Um, oh, I'll just do something stupid here. I'll take the, take the thing, and why don't we do some, uh, some, some red, and I'll just kind of draw a thing no there. No way. And draw, Whoa. a nice, frowny face. Okay, that's What's how I feel about now. Changes everything. Oh, this is. Uh, he's he's sad. Give him some. Give him some hair. This really oh, does wait. give you the power I, to be I, your best. I know how to give him hair. We got the. Uh, we got the paintbrush tool. Some crazy stuff. <clears throat> well, uh, let's see. I'll give him some brown hair. We can kind of do. Oh, look at wow. that! Wow, it's curly too. Yeah, this is this is like me in high school. It's this is uh, yeah, this is this captures me in high school in so many ways. Right this is now. eerie. Well, just kind of add some more. What do you think? Different. Yeah, and, uh, no kidding. Uh, now. Um, Let's enhance. Oh, what else can we do here? <laughs> Zoom and Zoom. enhance. Well, we don't. Enhance. No, we don't need you to enhance. I can enhance this in no, so right, many I ways. Let's uh, let's use the. Uh, oh, what do we got? What does this one do? Let's see. Oh, look at that! It did what something. What just happened? I I don't know, but I'm gonna undo that and uh, let's try. Uh, what is what does this one do? Can I just point out point oh. out how awesome it is that there's a menu that says goodies? Goodies. Uh, yeah, we got <laughs> oh, tool sound. Oh, it's small. small we can though. hear these sounds, but uh, we just don't. Don't have that. So yeah, small kids mode disabled the menus. 
and and the ability to go back to the desktop uh -huh. like so that it was a parental out. control basically yeah. so you have to go here and go to show menu bar and then you can get out because the kids would never figure that out no exactly <laughs> so what else uh, what else do we got here we can we can do uh, we can make some polka dots <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, it makes it silly <coughs> so just so silly excuse me uh, what about the, what does this one do oh oh no it's it's now even sadder. So this is really showing off the graphical power. This is power. this is the the power of of this. Yes, um, and, and there <laughs> you go. Uh, we can add some uh, some snowflakes. Mm -hmm. We can. Uh, well, why don't we mix it up with this thing? Ooh, oh no, I, I distorted it. I'll go back. Let me hit the hit the the guy to undo that and try that again. Ooh, look at that. Okay, nice. I don't want it. I don't I don't want that. I want this one. Oh look. Wow. It's, it's all jiggly. Let's let's start the jiggling. We can do that. Oh, look, look at that. That's that's the thing. Yeah. What? That's that's incredible. I'll, so I'll leave that there and we can add some now some other crap. And uh, let's let's do how about what what does that do? Oh, wow. I did something. Okay, let's uh, let's take the the paint brush and uh, let's pick a color here and we can do some do some spots. I think we need the Twit logo. I think we need. I, you know that's a good idea. I sh so we should probably start fresh here. So I'm gonna go down to the eraser. Oh, what eraser should I do? The bomb, everybody's favorite, or Ooh. the question mark, or the dots, or the, the, the barn door, or the letters, or the, the fade, um. or the drop things, or the circle, or the whatever oh, that geez. was. I don't remember what that is. Or the uh, the hourglass. There's just too many options. <laughs> bomb. So, okay, you, okay. Everybody's favorite, of course, is the bomb. So I'm going to go Looks up here. Like dynamite. Let's see. Where, where were you zoomed in, Brian? Uh, where, should, where should I place the bomb? If you hold it right there, I think I've got yeah, it. There it is. There's the bomb, man. Here we go. What's going to happen? Wow. Now, I'm going to actually freeze that because there's a secret command to freeze it. So I actually just added to my image by freezing it. That's that's amazing. Secret so command? Let me, let me do it again. Here we go. Look at that bomb. So the bomb doesn't actually erase. It no, just... it does. Oh. Well, at the end. Whoa. Whoa wow. Look at that. that was... It's gone. It's, look at those graphics that this thing can do. This is incredible. Let me do the bomb without uh, without the stuff and see. That's that's the bomb. And now I can also I can pause it there. And now I can use this as as a thing to uh, to start drawing stuff with. Um, mm. I could take some color and some patterns here and kind of fill those gaps in, Ooh, like that. Okay. And uh, what about how about this this pie looking one? Everybody likes pie, so I can kind of fill that one in with mm -hmm. some pie mm. and uh, some other other kinds of pie maybe. It's, uh, and we can fill these in. Oh, question mark. Question. For anyone just joining us, we're <clears throat> playing around with the Macintosh 2CX, which we, we just got, unboxed. Uh, we, got, we, got, we got the rainbow. Mm -hmm. That's, That's very apple uh, Computer came out the March 7th, 1989. Whoa. Now you're getting fancy. Okay, then fill this thing with, uh, with some purple, some purple stuff. Mm hmm and, no. uh, and well, there you go. That's uh, some examples. Can we of, see the bomb just one more time? We'll, we'll do the bomb once, once more. Or should we do one of the other uh, eraser effects that we have? I uh, believe I was always partial to um, to this one here. All right, so let's, let's see. Let's it. just see what happens. Unfortunately, we don't have the sounds because this thing, if I recall, made awesome sounds. But uh, we'll just let, let it go. And now, oh, look at that! Oh, what's going on? What? It's a black hole. Amazing animations. Look at that! Wow, that just that just blows me away. Now, is the computer physically getting warmer from all this uh, power it must be consuming? Let me just let me just hug it a little bit. No, it's actually the back of it's uh, it's got some cold air coming out. It's pretty huh? good. All right. This is yeah. This is um, yes. Uh, so let's. Um, I guess we should do a Twit logo. <clears throat> we could probably do it with. Um, you know, we actually probably should install Illustrator and kind of do it there and actually make it. We, oh, you know what we could do? Mm -hmm. If I put Illustrator on here, I bet that can that can open up uh, an EPS file. And so then we could, what? We, so we have the official Twit logo is is a is a vector image. It's an Illustrator file. I think we the can official that. Twit logo wouldn't fit on that hard drive. We, well, we can <laughs> export that as an EPS of just the vector info. How do we get and it? I can bring that in. On, oh, except yeah, how do you? If only we connected to. If only we had that we, local well, we top network. Where's the drive? Oh wait. Where's the USB drive on that? Hmm. Can we just? We I don't think have, we're screwed. I don't think we can do. We don't that. have network. We don't have floppy. We don't have USB. Uh, I don't know if we have the time for that either. Yeah, that's that would be a little overkill, I think. Um, so I'll just uh, let's. Uh, Patrick, do you want to draw anything? Are you good at mouse no? drawing, Brian? Uh, I gotta push buttons over here. Yeah, of course you do. 
Uh, let's see if I okay here. Let's let's try this. I could do that. Oh. There we go, and we'll kind of bring that in. Do we have any other uh, applications that can show off? Oops. I'll try try that line. Mm -hmm. Control Z isn't mm -hmm. working. Oh, because I'm in small kids mode or something. That's interesting. Oh, <laughs> they're there, a big there kid. There we go. Okay. Now let me do that. That's You're not going to do it in color. Oh, well, it's black. It's black, Brian. Wait till he gets to the red dot. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's the dot, and then we'll just, boom. Whoa. <laughs> it's just, it's like the, oh, it boom. a little sad there. Okay, there we go. That's, that's good enough. And oh, I need the other leg, I think. I'll just bring that. Oops. I'll try that again and bring that down there. And, well, there you go. This this is Twit. Can we paint the background Podcasts blue? Podcast you love from people you trust. This, this is the Twit Podcasting Network. Podcast no, podcasting Network. They're right there. It's incredible. What was that, Brian? Can we do a blue background? Blue background, of course we can. We could take the paintbrush tool, and uh, well, what uh, should we just do? It just solid blue? Yeah, sure. I guess so. Okay, yeah. and then we twit blue is well, we don't have or a twit blue because the colors are very limited here. Can you do a circle around it and then fill that? <sighs> You're asking a lot, Brian. I'm just just throwing it out there. Just circle it around it. Is that is this a? Fill? Oh, I guess I can, sort of. Let's see. Uh, if I do this, and then the, the background in the circle is blue, right? Uh, <coughs> do you need me to go get a sticker for reference? I'm, I'm pulling it just, up right now. If I do that, and then fill oh. the inside there. Whoa, look at that. It's, wow, doesn't I'm, a, show up very I'm, well I'm, a, I'm a regular Saul Bass here. Actually, Alex, I think you just need to hit one of the buttons on the bottom real quick uh, to, to, to render it is what, it, what I think happens. Just, just hit, yeah, uh, yeah, hit that button right there. Oh, look at it! Wow, it rendered it in real time. Look at that! That is amazing. That's incredible. This is the, the oh, it even moves. <coughs> oh, right. This yeah. is the. Uh, it's an animated thing. The power of the of the. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to your hand? Man, but look how good you did. That's I mean that's incredible. I mean, Nailed give it. me a hand, everybody. And Nailed by memory. It. Yeah. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. This is this is absolutely yeah. incredible here. What what we can do with these these computers? The people are on their feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I might as well just use some powder. Oh, how about some blue? Does blue go with? Uh, I mean, some purple. Oh, see you, Radford. You taking it's off? Done. Okay. Well, well we should probably shut good. things down then. Um, let's see what about, what about that one? If I do that, oh, that's that's oh. that's just that's beautiful. I just I just did the background. See, it's now a blue pattern. Now I should save this, right? Um, I should, oh, I should print it. Well, <laughs> save do, we, do we have a? Do we have a? Um, do we? Do we have a? There's an image writer somewhere, right? Do you have a SCSI printer we can hook up? SCSI? No, you use the uh, serial. Oh yeah, we need it. Yeah, serial, right? I should have. I should have brought can, an image writer. Image writer two. I had with, one with until ribbon. March. I threw it out when I moved, along with several Macs. Yeah. No, Patrick. Well, they were expensive to move. They're very heavy. I so paid I'll by just, weight. I'll just, um, I'll just save as, I guess, because we we have all these. Thank you. We have all these icons here to help you understand what you're what you're doing. So I will move down to save as with the thing. And uh, oh, here we go. I want to save this in the KidPix folder. I will name this. Um, what should I name this file? Uh, twit. Twit. Okay. Let me just type this in on this on this lovely keyboard here. Oh, you can really there, almost feel that's, it. I just twit. Mm -hmm. What? Oops, sorry. Yeah. What? what? Well, that's something else. What, what do we get? Yeah, yeah, it's clean that. Clean the. Clean the lens. I'm just gonna. Oh, there. God, I think he's get, trying to get in there. Clean, clean, get out of there. Get out of there. there. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got twit, and I'll, I will save this. So this is this a picked file? I believe so. And there you go. It's there. We're done. Wow. This is um, this is this like this is better than Photoshop. So well, Alex, do you think you've to, covered just about everything on that? Uh, I I guess so. Um, Patrick, uh, any oh, there, mm, so this this kid picks disc I had uh, has already had a file on it called Untitled Kids, which is the default name. I wonder what's in here. I hope it's not. I hope it's not something naughty. Let's let's open it up and we'll see what's uh, oh what it is. And so see, okay. it's this is belongs to Marty. That's the, All right. Okay. And had to kill him for. Oh, it. it's empty. It's just it's just blank. That's disappointing. Is Never it? mind. I was hoping to see. Someone's someone's drawings. Oh, well, that's disappointing. Now, something I used to do when I was a kid was so it's this and have a thing and kind of have that as my starting point and 
Yeah, that's cool, huh? Okay. That's, you were an artistic kid, I, I, weren't you? I was very autistic. Artistic, excuse me. <laughs> but I'm not going to save that. And, uh, okay, there there we go. All right. That was, that was Kid Picks, everybody's favorite um, Kid Picks. So, Patrick, any any last thoughts? Any, any final thoughts? Um, I, mean, I know we got uh, we got these things here, but I mean those are these are boring professional programs that uh, aren't really entertaining to to watch with the the, foot, the um, page maker and the Illustrator yeah. eighty eight. Although the Illustrator eighty eight comes with a VHS tape uh, explaining what Illustrator is. Uh, it's a very entertaining thing. You should uh, everybody should purchase this. That's this, fascinating. Uh, this this VHS tape and watch it. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, I believe we're losing power here. Uh, this computer is just just taking so much. I better shut uh, it down. Redford, right? do you have a quarter? We need to put it in the yeah, quarter. Uh, we, yeah, we need, we need the quarter. But um, let me shut the computer down, and maybe the power will, will turn back on. So I'm going to go to the special menu, and then down to um, to shut down. Erase and, disk. And then oh, wait, no. here, here we go. All right, shutting down. And and now now it's off. Now the power didn't come back on, so um, something must be shorting somewhere because it's still very dark in here. So um, we'll just uh, we'll just leave it at that, I guess. And see you in ten years. Yep. Yeah, well, we'll do this again on the 40th anniversary of the Macintosh. Maybe I'll bring my uh, maybe my Quadra 840 AV will be working at that time. So right now it don't work. <laughs> <laughs>